Do you know about pouches from ancient times? Do you pay particular attention to your purses or handbags? Oh, but I don't have handbags. Backpack. Ancient, this old oval purse with embroidered design of a harp jumping over the dragon gate. Late 19th century to early 20th century embroidery. The image of carp living over a dragon gate expresses a wish for promotion and success in the imperial examinations. Pair of kidney shaped purses with couch silver thread embroidery of bats and double birds design. Late 19th century to early 20th century embroidery. Vines bearing many melons symbolize a growing family with a long and flourishing line of descendants. No, purse with embroidery design. Late 19th century to early 20th century embroidery. Pheasants and ponies. Peonies with symbolize good fortune and wealth. Combining the two symbolizes an additional benefit or positive aspect and a glorious future. In ancient times, the pouch was a personal accessory that was At used to year. adorn ah, traditional. Pouches came in many different styles with striking patterns set off by colorful trimmings. These lovely accessories carry auspicious messages. Wow, so meron siyang meaning. Hindi lang siya basta basta design. <laughs> this one is a brocade fragrance pouch. Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911. Silk brocade. And then this one is. A kidney shaped porcelain scent holder with open work decoration. Qing Dynasty also 1644 to 1911 ceramics. And then this one is a scent holder with compass and enamel and open work. Also from Qing Dynasty 1644 to 1911. It's enamel. The three kinds of Scent holder, fragrance pouch. So the smallest is the holder with compass.